Hey there YouTube, it's Tiffany. I'm back for another card art tutorial. Today we're going to be working with the foil watercolor coloring book by Prima. I got it off of Amazon for $14.99 and I just want to do a quick flip through so you can see its content. Um, it's got a lot of pretty pages. As you can see, I already watercolored the first page. The flowers are foiled in silver. They're very pretty. So if you don't want to draw but you love to watercolor, this book would be great for you to, to practice techniques with or if you just want to make a quick card and not have to stamp or do your own foiling, um, this would make a very convenient way for you to do that. These ones are foiled in gold. Postcards, tags, and bookmarks. So there you go. Those are all the pages in this watercolor book. And we're going to be making a card today. I've selected this page to do my card tutorial today. Um, it's quite a large flower, so I plan to make two Mother's Day cards with it, one for my mother-in-law and one for my own mom. I plan to make a five by seven card, so I have to trim it to size. I am going to watercolor this, so I got out my brushes and my Prima watercolors in the tropical set. Let's listen to some music while I speed paint through this.
Prima watercolors in pastel dreams that will create a completely different look. Enjoy the music while I speed up the painting process for this card. I decided to trim out the white background of this card. That way I can place it on a different colored background and create a completely different look. I'm going to be using this lavender cardstock for this card. So I will trim it to size and fold it in half. Now I'm going to use my tape runner to glue it onto the card base. Now for the second card, I will be using a white card base. So there you have it, two cards with two different looks. I'm going to be using this pink fresh letter die to create the word mom. I will be cutting it out using the pink and silver glitter cardstock. 
I will be running the dies through my Platinum Spellbinder die cutting machine. I really wish I could work this fast in real life. I decided to add more contrast to the letters, so I'm using black cardstock to make the letters pop more. Now I'm just piecing together the die cuts. This die cut has uh, both letters as well as the shadow, and I'm just trying to figure out what works best together and using my craft tweezers and the Gina Connect glue, I'm gluing it down. Here are the two cards, one made with pastel and the other with tropical watercolors. I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz Stamp Positioner Tool to stamp out Happy Mother's Day inside my card using the VersaFine ink. Sometimes you just have to stamp it a few more times just to get a good impression and this tool allows you to do that. Here are my completed cards. I paired it with a lavender envelope and a pink envelope. Which one do you like better? I would love to hear your comments down below. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and get notified for my upcoming videos. Until next time, have a super duper tubetastic day. For more inspiration, please follow me on Instagram at Tiffany D Designs.